Alright y'all, do not come for this. This nail, you know, this one came off. I don't know why. If they pulling you down, let them go. They can't pull you no bear. <laughs> I'm telling y'all. channel it's your girl Minzon. on i'm back with another video <laughs> y'all need to get used to that okay okay so how have you guys been what's going on your girl is being consistent how is y'all liking it let me know today's video is going to be a girl's talk Ooh. as you can see from the title below today's video is a girl talk on confidence and self-love I do want to create a series of girl talks on this channel so today's girl talk is strictly on confidence and self-love but I will have more coming in the future okay okay adult babe in particular we're not gonna say any names asked me to do a girl talk on confidence and I was like oh my god I could have been to this video I don't know why I waited so long for because I have always wanted to give a girl talk I don't want to make this intro too long but go ahead and hit that subscribe button right down below to become part of the dollhouse because if you're not part of the dollhouse then what are you doing you should join the dollhouse because you'll be a doll babe and us doll babes we stick together we don't judge over here okay we stick together i want to make this channel more of like a sisterhood because you never know what people's situations are so i'm gonna try to put like videos out that I feel that can help out. So, um, yeah, I think that I should just get right into the video. This is a little sit-down video where I will be talking to you guys, even though you cannot necessarily talk to me right away. Feel free to do a face mask, make some food, eat some popcorn, eat some cookies, you know, drink some tea. I don't know, whatever you want to do. I'm not doing a face mask because I'm not trying to come on here looking scary while y'all watching me. No, we're not going to do that. But you know, nobody can see you, so you can do what you want. As you guys may know, or you may not know, I'm a rambler. I will literally talk about one thing and then start talking about another. So I have a few notes written down. Stuff just to keep me on track because if you're like me, you know that. <laughs> I'm from one thing to the next thing. The first part of this video, I do want to talk about confidence. Honestly, nobody can really tell you how to be confident. That's something that you're gonna wanna have to do and something that you're gonna work towards being. If you feel like you're kinda lacking on your confidence, you definitely have to like fake it till you make it. I know a lot of YouTubers say that, but listen, if you feel that you're not confident, the more that you act confident, trust me, like you'll start acting it because it'll be more of a habit. Let me give you an example. So, you walk into a room, full of people and they're not necessarily like paying attention to you but you know you start to feel kind of I don't know maybe like you get a little anxiety or you really don't want to be seen so you put your head down no that's that just shows that you're not really confident off bat when you walk into the room you should keep your head up I don't care if it makes you feel awkward, if you feel like everybody is looking at you, because that shows that you are confident. So it's just little habits like that that you really just have to get into doing. Honestly, faking that you're confident sounds kind of crazy, but honestly, you have to build that up. So think of it as getting out your comfort zone. Honestly, that's that's exactly what it is. If you want to be confident, you have to step out there and just do it. I feel like being confident also plays a role with, with how you feel about yourself. So, you should do something that makes you feel good. I don't care if it's your hair, if it's your nails, if it's your makeup, if it's your outfit. Do something that makes you feel good. Because the more you feel good, the more confident you will feel. Girl, when you walk into that room, you got to be like, Tuh. Yeah, I know I look good. <laughs> so if something makes you feel good, you should probably want to keep up with it because that will also help with like 
you building your confidence. Say like your hair looking nice, you walking around confidence on a hundred, and um, you know your hair gets messed up, and then the next day you kind of back in your shell, and you know even though it's nothing really wrong with that, if you don't feel so confident with your hair not being done or whatever it is that makes you feel good, then you know try to keep it, keep up with it right now while you're in the stage of building your confidence because after a while none of that should matter you you could look a mess and walk out and still be owning it it's definitely about building up that confidence also if you want to be confident you have to stop caring what people think like believe it or not everybody has an opinion about something it doesn't matter what it is somebody is always talking on somebody and you know to you some things may feel right but to other people it may not look right to them and it really shouldn't matter you just gotta stop caring about what other people think about you what other people say about you because honestly it doesn't matter if it makes you happy if it makes you feel good that's all that should matter i'm gonna give y'all like a personal story i always used to care about what people thought of me or whatever i feel like over time as i grew up i definitely i stopped caring about what people thought about me and started my youtube channel definitely have to get out that comfort zone especially if you're like in middle or high school those are the people you're not gonna be around them for the rest of your life. So it shouldn't matter what they think about you. It shouldn't matter what they say about you. Because honestly, when everything is over, it is done. You also have to stop comparing yourself to other people. And honestly, I feel like social media has a big impact on that. Everybody doesn't look the same. And you know, you can post your pictures and all that. But a lot of people feel that the social media standards are what you have to fit. You don't have to fit that. You are you. Whatever that you have that you're not so confident about on you, that makes you you. You really gotta stop comparing yourself to other people because everybody isn't the same. Whatever it is on you, whatever you are, now I don't care if it's your race, your body type, how you dress, how you talk, it doesn't matter. You can't be another person. I'm sorry, it's just not gonna work. Just be you. And you gotta be confident about yourself. Honestly, it just, being confident all starts with you. It starts from within. Okay? Okay, so you have to stop caring about what people think. You just need to block those people out around you, okay? And just have the mindset of like nobody can't tell you nothing about yourself. That's how it should be. It shouldn't be that whatever someone thinks, that's just how you feel. I don't think y'all realize this, but people can pick up on your energy. You can pick up when someone is scared. You can pick up when someone is shy. Like you can really pick that up, but especially if you not being so confident, People can tell that from the jump. Definitely put out an energy that is really good. So if you want good energy coming to you, you have to put out good energy. I noticed like a lot in middle and high school, a lot of people were really dependent on each other. If you wanna be confident, it's okay to have friends, but you should also be good with just being by yourself which is why you should fall in love with your solitude. So I read this book, Milk and Honey, like during quarantine when we like was really stuck in the house, even though we're like semi-quarantined, but when we was really in quarantine, I read a book called Milk and Honey by Rupi Kaur. One of the quotes that really stuck with me was you have to fall in love with your solitude. You have to fall in love with being alone. I don't care if it's going out and going to the nail shop by yourself, Maybe you're sitting by yourself while you're eating food. You have to fall in love with your alone time because you can't be so dependent on people. Like, if you want to be confident, you have to be comfortable with being by yourself. Okay, on to the self-love. First things first, you need to get rid of those toxic people out your life. I don't care if it's a family member, your friendships, your relationship. You have to get rid of that person. Like, I don't know how to tell y'all that. It's really just hindering your your self-growth, your self-love. Like, when you have toxic people around you, it is just so draining. It literally takes so much energy from yourself. Get rid of it, okay? Let it go. It is time to get people around you that's more like you. Get people around you that makes you happy. Get people around you that want to see you doing good. These toxic people, they gotta go. Like, you should have been let them go back when 2020 started. I don't really know everybody's situation, um, whoever your toxic person is. 
but you gotta get rid of them. I understand like with parents it might be hard, especially if you are their child, that's really hard, but definitely friendships and relationships, you have to get rid of those people. Like, like they take so much energy from you. They start like, it starts wearing on you. Before you know it, you put all your energy into something that doesn't require that uh, much energy. When you could be putting that energy into yourself, bettering yourself. So you really have to get rid of those people, okay? Honestly, toxic people just pulls you down. If they pulling you down, let them go. They can't pull you nowhere. <laughs> let them go, sis. Let them go. Okay? I cannot stress this enough. Stop settling for less. You can wait for better. If people are giving you less than you expect from them, you have to let them go. Stop settling for it. Like, honestly, I cannot stress this enough. Almost everybody has settled for something, but after one point, you'll understand that it's not even worth it. Let it go. Chop it off. Cut them off. Stop making time for people who doesn't make time for you. People fail to realize that you don't you don't owe nobody anything. You don't owe nobody your time. You don't owe nobody no response. You don't owe anybody anything. So you have to literally stop giving them your time and start putting it on you. Because some people, they'll start to get so used to you giving up your time for them. And when you need them, they're not there. Start speaking positive over your insecurities and things that you may not like about yourself. If you look in the mirror, you literally got to tell yourself, I love me. I love my face. I love my body. You have to tell yourself that every day, and I promise you, day by day, you'll start loving whatever it is. So instead of just speaking so negative over it, saying, oh, I hate this about me, and I hate that, and blah, 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 blah. No, start saying you love it, and I guarantee you, you love it. As long as you say you hate it, you'll start seeing it more. You'll start feeling that feeling, like the hate. That gotta go. It has to go. Get into the mindset of saying, nobody has to like me because I love me. That's how you should be thinking, ladies. You know, a lot of girls these days tend to tear each other down. We should always be uplifting each other. You know, I guess they feel sometimes that there may be a secret competition or whatever, but it should never be like that. So instead, if you are watching this video, if you are a doll babe, you gotta be different than the rest. You gotta start uplifting each other. At one point, I can honestly speak for myself where I got so used to not accepting my compliments. I mean, now I do. A lot of us girls, we'll turn down a compliment. Like, if somebody's saying, oh, I like your hair, and you feel like your hair don't look nice, you be like, girl, my hair look a mess. I know I'm guilty of doing that, but don't do that. Start accepting your compliments. Ladies, you have to realize your self-worth. I cannot stress this enough. Like, a lot of females will downplay themselves or make their worth like less than, but if anybody is not telling you, you are worth a lot. You're worth much more than you can ever think. You're worth much more than money. You're worth much more than jewels. You're worth much more than allowing anybody to treat you any kind of way. That's why you have to set standards. You have to set standards for the type of people that you may date, for the type of friends you hang around, for the type of people you even associate yourself with. Set your standards and know your worth and do not take it down. And your worth is non-negotiable. So, you know, like I said, stop settling and set your standards. If you don't have no standards, you need to get some because we are worth much more than anybody can ever tell you. You don't have to deal with anything from anybody and I'm one to speak about that, but you know, if you tell a person that you don't like something they continue to do it, you need to let them go. You need to say some daily affirmations. With daily affirmations, you literally go in the mirror and you tell yourself every day, I am beautiful, I love me, I am successful. My mother has taught me to do this since a young age and honestly, it's not even weird no more. At first it was like, oh my gosh, I'm sitting here talking to myself in the mirror. But honestly, it's just, it's just a form of self-love. Like, nobody should have to tell you that you're pretty. You can tell yourself that you're pretty. Nobody should have to tell you that. So you have to look in the mirror and tell yourself those things that you want to hear, that you want to be. I promise you, it works. It makes you feel good, and I just recommend it. It is so important to take your self-care days. Some days, it is good to just put down the phone, get off the social media, do your skincare, do your makeup, get your hair done, your nails done. Like, that is so important. You know, we tend to get caught up in so much stuff and investing in so many people and all of this, but 
you have to take a day. Self-care days are my favorite. They make you feel good and it's just a form of self-love. Just keeping up with yourself. All in all, you need to learn to accept your flaws and love them. This always stuck with me. It was like this song by J. Cole. He said, love yourself or nobody will. That, like he was really speaking facts. Like if you don't love yourself, nobody will love you. And when I say love yourself, it's also carrying yourself a certain way. Like you have to have respect for yourself. Set goals for yourself. Get out your comfort zone and do something with yourself. For me, that was my YouTube channel. I really did step out my comfort zone to start my YouTube channel. I started to grow with it and I just, I love my YouTube channel so much now. Like it's a part of me. So, you know, it's always good to set goals to keep you on your feet. Okay, you guys, so that's the end of this video. I feel like I can have so much more to talk about but I don't know like when I'm not doing a video like when I'm not in front of the camera I can think about stuff to say for days but for some reason I really can't think of nothing else so that's just gonna have to be the end of the video definitely let me know down below if y'all want a girl talk series I personally love these series because it's just like I'll chit chat our time yeah give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it give this video a thumbs up if it did help you out with a few things i'm thinking every month i can do like a different topic because i want it to be like an episode definitely let me know if y'all would like these type of videos on this channel you know you can let me know down below in my dm what other topics you guys want me to talk about follow my social media because this was just kind of out the blue. I was going to post something on it for y'all to share y'all experience with it or give me some questions to answer. So yeah, that will definitely probably be in the next video. Make sure y'all follow my Instagram because I might post something where I'll be answering questions. I definitely do hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment some things down below. Feel free to talk to each other. Whatever the case may be, make sure to hit that subscribe button right down below to become part of the dollhouse because if you're not a part of the dollhouse, then what are you doing? Like, what are you doing? <laughs> I hope that these tips helped someone out. It may not be you, but it could have helped somebody. So, yeah, all in all, this video, I feel like, was a win-win. Period. <laughs> that will be the end of this video. I really do hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see y'all in the next.